All right, we're gonna test the Sierra Master 115 grain jacketed hollow point and nine millimeter today using 10% ballistics gelatin. Uh, firearm used is a Taurus G2 with a three inch barrel. There's what those look like there. I uh, forgot my chrono today, um, but should be able to get to a range um, prior to posting this and send a few over the chrono for you guys and I'll splice that in here. Ignore this 1088 here, it was from a previous test. Disregard this, this is from the previous video. Um, BB calibration today is coming in at 3.1 inches. Temperature controlled gelatin as always. We'll be doing a single layer of t-shirt and then four layers of denim. Now I forgot my caliper, my micrometer today. I do have the scale, um, but I'll get these taken home after we're done and I will still get a measurement on them for you and splice that in to the video as well. And those were the previous videos, so if you missed that, make sure you go check that out. I think that's everything, so let's get started. All right, so I wondered why the block didn't jump on that one, and that's because it passed completely through because it did not expand, obviously. Right there was shot placement. As you can see, right out the back. So those do not like the denim test. Here's through the t-shirt. Again, that was the previous test. There's that one. We'll get a measurement on it here in a sec. Okay, so the one through the t-shirt layer that stayed in the block in between 17 and a half and 17 and three quarters there uh, through the denim, the one that passed through, that's 24 inches of penetration. Um, so go ahead and try another one or two through the denim to see if we can get any of them to expand. So I'm going to try to come between these shots, potentially a little lower too. I'm not going to be focusing on the permanent cavity or anything like that because we already know this is best case scenario through the t-shirt. I'm just trying to see if we can get any to expand and stop in the block instead of passing clear through, which means they did not expand or barely expanded. Well, okay, both of those expanded. First shot entry, second shot entry. So there's the first one. There's the second one, but interestingly, uh, there's no expansion. But somehow, it stopped without zipping all the way through like the, the first one through the denim did. So, that's... Uh, interesting and this one while expanded it's not expanded very much you'll see that when I pull it out here uh, that's the one through the t-shirt right there so only uh, one out of three through the denim expanded and then again I don't know why or how I'm guessing cuz let's see here there's a decent cavity here even though well, I don't know it's hard to tell if it yawed or, or tumbled or anything like that. It doesn't really look like it. That cavity does look a little bigger than the one here. Uh, so maybe it started to yaw there. So that's why it slowed down some and then it corrected itself and stopped there. You can even see here there's some turbulence and disruption. Whereas over here on the one that did expand just now through the denim, 
very streamlined wound channel compared to this one it's got disruption there even though it didn't expand so i think that just hit and was going all kinds of crazy like this so it took a lot of speed out of it which is why even though it didn't expand it ended up stopping in the block there otherwise it would have zipped right through like this one here so your penetration uh, the one out of the three that actually did expand through the denim coming in right here at about 15 and a half 18 and a half on that one that did not expand but yet somehow still stopped in the block all right this is the one through the denim that didn't expand at all this is the one through the denim that did expand and this is the one that went through the t-shirt and from the side here it's a little more telling just for giggles here here's the one that didn't expand 114 six or seven okay it's going a little erratic because we got a breeze today I believe I mentioned that earlier in the video, and this thing's really sensitive because it's meant for measuring almost single grains of powder because it's a reloading scale, so it will vary some when there's a wind. There's the one that went through the denim that expanded, 113.7, and there's the wind messing with it, or maybe the wind made it a 113. 115.0, let's try that again. Yeah, coming in about 115. And then the one through the t-shirt, also 115. And then the wind kicks up. <laughs> As I said, I forgot my uh, caliper, my micrometer today, so I'll get these measured when I'm at home. I'll splice that footage in now. Through the denim, 0 0.510. Through the t-shirt, 0.464, so actually narrower diameter, but that's because those petals, they peeled back more uniformly. But uh, yeah, not that great a performance because even through the single layer of t-shirt, we don't have very good expansion. I mean, it just didn't get very big. And there's the previous video, as I said, and you can see there's a massive difference there. Uh, so these aren't that great. So if you missed that previous video, make sure you go check that out. And I've been testing a lot of 9mm lately, and I have older 9mm tests too. And I'll be doing plenty more in the future. 380, 40, 45 even rifle rounds and shotguns coming up so make sure you stay tuned that's gonna do it though guys i appreciate you watching as always and i hope to see you on the next one